Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jeff Fisher back and I'm gonna go ahead and on to the third segment. I wanna say thank you for joining me here on the Get Clients ASAP uh, live stream show. Thanks for following uh, the social media show's page. Thanks Maria for allowing us to have this platform together for people to broadcast their businesses. So what the next segment that I wanna get into is gonna be talking about sales. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, like when I first uh, got in uh, sales, I was horrible. I sucked really, really bad. Matter of fact, after college, you know, uh, I ended up uh, doing car sales for about four years. But I will tell you this, the first year I sucked so bad that I actually quit. You know, that was, a, that was the first and only time that I ever quit something. And it was because I, I don't know, I just, it was, I don't know if it was because it was just something new to me. But uh, I knew that in order to be a business owner or to some, because that was always the big picture was to have my own business. But uh, I knew that sales was part of that process because if you're in business and you're not making any sales, you're going to be out of business like really, really fast. And so today what I want to talk about is just give you a couple tips on how you can, uh, you know, be able to make more sales in your business. Um, so the first one that you want to want to do is you want to be able to start learning how to smile. <laughs> I know it sounds cliche, but um, that's one thing that's, uh, that's helped me uh, in sales is just really uh, being a people person, but also just smiling because I don't know, I just feel like people connect with me more and uh, they're just, their guard just kind of like, uh, kind of falls down whenever they they see that I'm like a friendly person, which I am, but also I just, they just, it's just a smile, you know, they can see that I'm a genuine person. So keep that in mind, just start smiling, you know, it's definitely gonna help you out and increase your sales. <laughs> the second one is, uh, and this is huge, and this is what, uh, this is what probably got me like, no sales like when I first started in, in, in the business was that uh, I would say listening um, you know sales you should look at it as 80% listening 20% actually like talking I would say probably 90% listening because when you can actually listen to a person and understand you know their challenges their pain points just really getting to know them you can actually take what they told you and you can use it to position yourself to be able to help them with your product or service. You can then listen to what their needs are and then it can set you up to be able to provide a solution to kind of help them. But the only way to get there is really to listen to them. So a lot of times I see a lot of people like when they're talking to a prospect, you know, they just start talking about them. They focus the conversation on them, all about me, all about this. And their their client, just it, they just tune out. And then, you know, they want to, then they want to talk about their product without actually knowing you know the, the their their potential clients' uh, problems and concerns because they didn't take take the opportunity to listen. So keep that in mind. Definitely listen. <laughs> the third one is, uh, or you want to uh, use names. You know, uh, you know, start. You know, and I, I keep it real. <laughs> when I first got in sales, I don't know. Like I, I used to like forget people's names. Is that weird? Like so. Like I would say, start working on. Uh, remembering your prospect's name. I mean, write it down. Like, especially if you got a meeting with them, you know, you want to make sure that you know you you have their name down and that just use their name kind of periodically throughout the conversation because it kind of lets them know that hey, it's kind of that connection. People like the sound of hearing their name for some reason, and so you want to make sure that you're saying people's names and you know the conversations that you have. You know, when you're when you're when you're trying to help them with your product or service. See, my other note is you want to make sure that, uh, see here, make sure I got it here. Oh, storytelling, you know, uh, it's huge. Uh, and this is another thing that, you know, I didn't really do good at back in the day, but you want to be able to tell stories. Uh, you know, for me, um, you know, I, I'm the first in my family to be an entrepreneur. And so, uh, you know, I, I always wanted to kind of own my own, you know, uh, Despite all the challenges that I had in the past, you know, of you know, had some kind of like uh, ADHD, um, I had a speech impediment. I mean, I had all these different challenges. I felt like 
I was an introvert. You know, I hated, you know, talking, you know, in front of a lot, like large groups of people. But, uh, you know, for me, I, I just, I knew that in order to, to, uh, to be the best and I own my business someday that I had to overcome that. And so, you know, you just want to be able to make sure that, uh, you just want to be able to make sure that, uh, you can connect with, you know, that you can connect with people and that uh, you can just be able to, uh, to be able to just kind of relate, you know, just kind of relate and uh, just be able to put, put yourself in a position to where let people know that you, you actually care about them and that uh, you really want to like help them, you know, uh, let's see here, let me check it out. So the next one is, uh, oh, and back to the storytelling. So I'm like ringing around, but the storytelling, just make sure that you can you can have a story that uh, is relatable uh, to you know to your product or service. You know, make a story. You know, like let's for an example, let's just say uh, you know for me, uh, I have a life insurance license, and so uh, I've had it for like three years. And so a lot of times when I'm talking to prospects, that let's say for instance, you have a prospect that that you, you talk to them and they say, hey, I don't want any insurance. I'm good. But you they they mailed in the lead card and. That, that that tells me that you know obviously they, they there's a need there so I I have to to uncover that need and so what I'm doing is after I'm talking to them I'm telling them a story about how you know I had actually an aunt in my family that actually you know had a heart attack unexpectedly and passed away and so you know I, I want to tell my story so that I can let this person know that hey you know if you don't have any coverage you know our health isn't guaranteed you know something can happen to you and next thing you know you know your family's stuck with your funeral bill and so you gotta be able to tell stories so just keep that in mind um, and then the last one is oh this is another one you always want to agree to disagree you know a lot of times people uh, they get in arguments when it comes to like talking to you know talking to their prospects maybe their prospect says oh I'm not interested or I'm not ready or you get these different objections and you just gotta you just gotta agree to disagree and so what I mean there is that if a customer says uh, like back in the day when I sold cars they tell me uh, hey Jeff I'm not ready to buy right now and uh, I say hey I totally understand you know uh, a lot of our a lot of our clients you know when they come in they say the same thing but uh, you know I I understand you're here today and uh, let me ask you this you know what brought you know what brought you in today like what you know what is you know what is you told me we took a test drive you told me you like this you told me you like that so just let me know uh, I'm here to help you so uh, just try to find that that common ground you know like don't don't argue with them just tell them that you understand and then just kind of move on you know and so just kind of keep that in mind when you're when you're in the sales process so I want to say thanks again for tuning in and uh, also, if you haven't yet checked out, get clients ASAP. Um, again, it's a, it's a support group where you can literally go on and ask all your marketing questions, and uh, I'll be here to help you. So thanks again for tuning in.